Bukoni for both for bachelor and master degree. Uh, let's wait for some minutes and then we can start. So thank you to Alessia from Bukoni University. She will help us and she will answer to your, your questions. Please write down your questions in the chat. We will answer at the end of the presentation. Grazie ancora per la partecipazione, Alessia. Tra un po' aspettiamo, io direi di iniziare, guarda, perché siamo in tanti, iniziamo. Ok, uh, good afternoon everyone, uh, I'm Thea, then my colleague Alessia will uh, uh, introduce herself and talk about the master. So I'll start introducing Bocconi um, with the, mainly with the bachelors. Um, so um, let's start uh, with a short presentation. I am uh, Thea uh, from the Guidance Recruitment Office uh, and uh, I'm also a, a Bocconi alumni. Uh, I attended uh, BM uh, and then uh, the Master in Management. So if you have any specific questions about those program, you can also uh, write them in the chat. So let's talk about uh, a bit about the history of Bocconi. Uh, Bocconi was founded in 1902 uh, by Ferdinando Bocconi, uh, an Italian entrepreneur. Uh, and uh, it has always been uh, um, an innovative university. Uh, we launched the first degree uh, in economics uh, in Italy. And in 1974, the first exchange program, uh, a few years before the uh, a European network uh, Erasmus was founded. Uh, in 2001, we established the first bachelor uh, program in English. Uh, so um, let's see a bit uh, um, the rankings. Uh, rankings are very important uh, because uh, uh, for in your future career path, uh, uh, a potential employer may look uh, at the ranking uh, um, to see the quality of the education that you have received uh, in your university. Uh, concerning a ranking, um, um, Bocconi uh, has a very good placement. Uh, in Europe, uh, it's placed uh, um, among the uh, four um, top for, uh, but also worldwide uh, is in the top 10 in our core field of studies, including social management, um, social science and management, uh, as well as business. Uh, let's see a bit uh, the fact and figure of Bocconi University. Uh, we have uh, 15,000 students currently enrolled um, on campus uh, and uh, in the classes entirely taught in English, 44% of the students are international. They do not only come from neighboring countries, as you may think, but we are a truly international community with more than uh, 100 different nationalities. So uh, we have have around uh, um, 3,400 international students currently enrolled and our students uh, have also the possibility to spend a period abroad either to study or to do an internship. Uh, in fact, uh, Bocconi has a very strong uh, international network of partner universities uh, and uh, the students are provided with the opportunities to do an exchange program either at the third year of the bachelor or at the second year of the Master of Science. Uh, we have uh, more than uh, 280 partner university and we offer 35 different double degrees where students are granted the opportunity at the end of the double degrees to receive two degrees from the Bocconi as well as the partner university. Uh, as you can see from the map, while the bulk of our partner is in Europe, we do have connection all over the world with the top university, even in North America, Asia, and Oceania. Um, we, uh, to name a few, we have uh, a double degree with Yale, London School of Economics, and Science Po, and we partner with the top universities around the world. The same strong network we have with the international universities provided even with the employer relations. In fact, the Bocconi organized multiple events throughout the year to favor the future placement 
um, the future placement of uh, um, its students. Uh, we have our main event that is uh, the Bocconian Jobs. Uh, it's a fair that is held on campus uh, in the past few years. It was also done um, online uh, in which students have the opportunity to meet uh, recruiters from top companies and uh, directly talk to, uh, to them um, and provide their uh, CV uh, and have the possibility to know what are the job offers, what are the requests of the job market, and experience first, and what are the requirements to enter in, um, in these companies. Uh, we do also organize these events even abroad, and these are uh, very important uh, opportunities we uh, provide to students to help them uh, with internship and even placement in the future. Um, uh, for um, a specific area uh, um, um, of, uh, of our core area, we do also have uh, particular events like uh, investment banking days for students uh, interested in uh, investment banking and finance uh, and uh, recruiting days with the uh, dates with the aim of connecting students with the recruiters. We do also have uh, an online platform open to, uh, um, to all our students in which the job offers are posted daily uh, and basically students can apply uh, in order to find a position uh, for an internship. So there is a very strong support uh, from the university to help students um, even uh, not only academically but also in the job field. We have connection with more than 4,000 employers and a huge network of alumni worldwide. Uh, and uh, through uh, our portal, we offer more uh, than uh, 2,000 and um, 300 uh, uh, internship in 2021 alone. So um, this is a strong support that Bocconi is able to provide to the students. Uh, here we see a list of our top employers. As you can see from the list, um, it, uh, it is a very wide range of the most famous international companies, as well as financial institutions, hedge funds, and banks. So depending on either the master or the bachelor that students are attending, um, they can find strong opportunities in the top class companies in their uh, specific area of focus. Um, uh, so um, uh, we offer uh, even we partner even with company in luxury um, fashion as well as the big four uh, in consulting banks uh, and even uh, financial institutions. Uh, so, um, talking a bit about the placement uh, of the graduates, uh, we here provide the figure for uh, the um, students that finish the Master of Science. Uh, even though students can uh, go um, to the job market and then are perfectly ready once they finish the bachelor, most of the students decide to go on with the masters uh, to complete their academic path. Um, at the, the time of graduation from the master, almost 84% are employed on the same day in which they discuss their final thesis dissertation, uh, and 97% are employed one year after graduation. The 3% not employed is usually um, undertaking a PhD. Uh, or going on with uh, additional um, uh, academic years. Uh, almost 34% of our graduate is employed abroad, uh, and uh, the average time needed to find a placement is only 24 days. Uh, now let's see a bit uh, how uh, the application procedure works and how uh, our courses are. So um, we offer um, mainly uh, courses in English uh, because we uh, are oriented towards the uh, internationalization of our university. Uh, I'll introduce a bit uh, um, uh, the difference between the courses. So uh, uh, the first, uh, uh, one of the most famous course uh, is the one in international economics and management. So this provides students with uh, a broad uh, um, set of skills uh, required from the job market uh, in, in the area of management and economics. So uh, it provides the basics to work uh, in either consulting or in companies in the management area. 
Uh, instead, the economics and management for arts, uh, culture, and communication provides a more humanistic uh, um, taste uh, in which students um, are presented with the same knowledge in economic and management, but more focus on culture and communication. Um, that is, of course, uh, uh, very peculiar uh, of Italy as a country. So this is a very unique course offered by Bocconi, uh, especially if uh, uh, students uh, would like to work uh, um, in fashion company or luxury company, this uh, is a course they may uh, want to attend. Uh, then there is the World Bachelor in Business. This is the only four-year program we offer at the bachelor level, and this is a joint venture with the University of Southern California and the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. So the application is done uh, in, in a different way. We will explain it later. Uh, and is uh, the first year in Los Angeles, the second year in Hong Kong, the third year in Bocconi, and then you can select uh, the third year um, up to your choice in one of the three uh, university. And at the end, uh, you will get uh, three different degrees uh, from the three partner university. Uh, then, um, still talking about the three years program in Bocconi, uh, we have the international economic and finance. Uh, the first few years, uh, two years are similar to economics and management. And then there is a twist uh, to, to, for a more specialization in finance. So uh, if prospective students would like to go on with finance, work in an edge fund or an investment banking, that's the course for them. Uh, we do also offer economic and social sciences, which despite the name is not uh, humanistic at all, is based on the quantitative models uh, and models developed to uh, study um, the behavior of consumers. So there is a base of psychology uh, and sociology, but with the aim of understanding the progression of consumers in the market. Uh, then we offer economics, management and computer science. This is a course that was uh, um, um, structure based on the requests coming from the market because uh, um, companies are increasingly looking at profiles that have a knowledge of management and the company, but coupled with uh, um, IT uh, and computer skills. Then we offer mathematical and computer science for artificial intelligence. This is a very quantitative course full of mathematical models, statistics. So it is for people that truly love mathematics. We also have a Bachelor in International Politics and Government. Uh, this is uh, more towards uh, uh, politics uh, and uh, yeah, is aimed to uh, inform students to become the policymaker of tomorrow. Of course, we believe uh, being a, an economic university that uh, future policymakers need to understand the dynamic of the market and economics. So there is a bit of that even in this course. Uh, and then we offer a, a Bachelor um, of Art. This is the only Bachelor of Art in global law. Uh, so this is for students that may like law, uh, but are not sure whether they want to become a lawyer. Maybe they want to work in the law department of a company. So uh, that's the right Bachelor um, for them. Then we also offer uh, for courses in Italian that are the same as the one uh, offered in English. So let's see a bit the structure of uh, the bachelor program. Uh, so uh, the programs are designed to provide the knowledge required for students to be a, um, a good resource in the job market. So uh, it provides a mix of technical, soft, uh, and cultural skills. Uh, the first year is uh, to learn the fundamentals. So, so there are compulsory courses. Um, there is a course on computer science where uh, students are asked uh, to um, mm, study Python, a programming language that is uh, very requested in the job market. Uh, they study the first foreign language and uh, seminars on critical thinking. 
In the second year, you start uh, to focus a bit on your studies. So there are the courses uh, that are um, specialized for the specific bachelor. Uh, there is the second language and also uh, students are requested to develop uh, uh, further soft skills. And the third year is to expand the curriculum um, because uh, students can customize their curriculum selecting the um, elective course. They also have the possibility to do an internship or an exchange abroad and they need to um, uh, decide the topic or of their final thesis. Uh, now I leave the floor to my colleague Alessia. Thank you. Hello everyone, and thank you so much, Thea, for uh, this introduction. So guys, we have seen a general overview of the university, of Bocconi University. We have seen the bachelor programs. Now let me um, introduce you to our master programs that we offer. Uh, for all the students interested in the bachelor program, stay with us because in a second, I'll also go back to admission procedures and other information that may be useful for you as well. So going to the master programs uh, that we have at Bocconi, as you can see, uh, there's a like a super long list here, so I'm not going to deep dive into all of them, but they're divided into clusters. So basically the first class uh, cluster uh, top left um, of the slide is the management area. So Bocconi is a business school. Um, we are specialized in the social sciences area. So management is, of course, uh, very important for us. Um, our flagship program, our flagship course is international management, which is also ranked by Financial Times uh, because it's being recognized worldwide as a very, very good program. Um, the general management programs we offer, but also some specifically dedicated to uh, fields that you might um, be looking into, for example, arts, culture, media and entertainment, because we are located in Milano, so it's a great place to be if you are uh, into those fields but also innovation and technology. We have an innovation center, we have an incubator. So for all the students interested in, for example, uh, developing their business idea, uh, that's a great program. Marketing management as well. So there is a long list of management programs that we offer. Then we have second cluster um, on the bottom left of the slide um, regarding the finance area. So we have one, let's say, more traditional finance program also ranked by Financial Times. So I would say the other flagship cor course that we offer at Bocconi and also accounting, financial management and control. Then we have the economic uh, part of our offer with social sciences. As you can see, all of these programs are, let's say, the prosecution of the offer that we have at the bachelor level. Uh, we have international organization as well, politics for all the students interested uh, in the policy analysis field. And specifically for this program, politics and policy analysis, we offer a very special double degree with uh, London School of Economics and one with uh, Sciences Po. Those two are very special ones. So in terms of, let's say, admission, in case you're interested, there is specific timelines, very specific admission requirements. Little spoiler for all the programs, in any case, there will be possibilities for the students to do an exchange program or a double degree. So even if you're not interested in the politics and policy analysis one, there is still this chance to study abroad, because as my colleague Thea said, um, the, the relationship we have with partner university is crucial for us. And then we have the last cluster uh, with the most, uh, let's say, innovative part of our offer. So we have data science and business analytics, which was created based on what the market uh, requires at the moment. And two really recent programs, the cyber risk strategy and governance one, and one in transformative sustainability. As you can see, these two programs are joint to degree. And this means that from the very beginning, from day one, you'll be part basically of two universities, of Bocconi, uh, business school, so managerial approach, and Politecnico di Milano, another university also located in Milano, which is a technical school. The idea in this case is to, of course, give you a mixed approach and create the managers, let's say, of tomorrow that have a business approach, but at the same time, they can handle the content with an engineering approach as well. Let me just... Okay. 
perfect. So in terms of program structure for the master programs, um, first of all, it's very important to know it's a two year long program. So all the programs that we offer at the master level are two year long. In the first year, you'll be, um, let's say, very much focused on the courses, on the group projects as well. So I would say it's the intense year in terms of effort. It's of course a full-time program. And you will find also a mixed approach in terms of faculty, in terms of professors. There will be professors coming from uh, academia, so they will have probably a more research-oriented approach. And then we will have practitioners that currently work also in companies besides being professor. And this is very useful because you will have, let's say, the best of these worlds and see different approaches to several problems that you may have to tackle in your career. In the second year, uh, let's say everything gets more flexible. So you really have the chance to specialize and to create your own study plan. So you will be able to either choose uh, and pick a major and specialize in that specific field. I'll give you a practical example. Uh, you're studying marketing management. Second year, you may want to study specifically digital marketing. Let's say in the case of uh, you don't like the majors that we offer or you realize there is something that, you know, it's still in the back of your mind and you would like to explore to complete your profile, you can do that. Picking the free track. Free track means that you will be able to pick any elective from any program offered in Bocconi. As we were mentioned many, many times, there is a possibility to study abroad. Um, so for at the master level, you will have a chance to spend six months during the second year uh, in one of our partner universities, or you will also be able to spend the whole second year in a partner university. In this case, it's gonna be a double degree. So you will get two certifications, basically one from us and one from the partner schools. Regardless of this, there's a lot more, there's two foreign languages that you will study. Uh, you'll study Italian for sure as international students. Uh, there will be some enhancing activities. You'll, you will have access to our IT center, to our language center, and you will have to write a final thesis. So this is more or less what to expect from uh, the two year long program uh, at the master level. Let's get into the more like bureaucracy, bureaucratic part. Uh, so admissions, I'm sure you are curious about it. So let's go back to bachelor level. Uh, okay, the application is gonna be online in any case. So there will be a portal, my application portal on Bocconi website. So you can do everything from your home and just you know, submit the documents. So in this bullet point, in this list, you can see uh, the requirements. We will require a test for sure, so this is mandatory, and it's going to count for 55% of the final score. You will have the chance to provide either an SAT, an AST, or the Bocconi online test that we autonomously provide. We do not have a preference on our side, so it's up to you. Uh, pick the, the test that you prefer, the, the test where you feel like you will perform better. Second element uh, will be school transcripts from your second to last and third to last year. And these, so it's basically your GPA, your grades, and this is going to count for 45% of the final score. As you can see, there is a last bullet point, which is also very important, regardless of the, the weights, which is your CV and your motivational letter. Why is this important? This is important because in the case we have, well, we receive many applications, of course, uh, because it's a competitive university. Uh, in the case we have two candidates with very, very similar test score, similar transcripts, similar grades, then we will look for sure into this part. This qualitative part is also crucial for scholarships. So I highly recommend to take into account all the elements of the application and not only the quantitative part, because all the elements will be important and taken into account. So the first uh, step in case you're interested will be to do the selection test. The second step will be to register on the portal during the application period, we will, which we will look into uh, later. You'll have a chance to, and this is very important, to apply to up to four programs in order of preference in, within the same application. So the practical tip here is do not focus on just one program that we offer, but take really the time to go through the whole list of courses that we offer, because there might be more than one uh, that you're interested in, especially because we have showed you that there are different clusters of similar programs. 
And once admitted, you will have to provide an English test uh, requirement. Uh, because of the, the tight schedule, we recommend to start preparing for the test as well, even though it will not be required in the first place when you apply. This is the timeline. So as you can see, we have three sessions every year. Right now we are in the winter session and the last application deadline will be uh, in the end of January, 26th of January. Um, and other very important information that you have to take on with you today is you have the possibility for the Bocconi test to take it up to a maximum of three times. And also that this is not automatic. What does it mean? Very simple. So you want to do the Bocconi test, that's great. And the winter session, uh, it's our main session. So we, uh, we, ex we expect many applications from you guys. So uh, we are ready to support you, let's say, with, uh, with our online test. Not automatic, meaning that you do the test, so you book the test first, you do it online, but then you also need to upload the score on our My Application Portal. Just the fact that you do the online test, it's not enough. Why? Because simply you may decide that you don't want to submit that score and you may want to do an SAT autonomously. So remember this because this is very important. For the um, World Literally in Business, uh, let me mention that the application procedure is completely different. Uh, and so for that, we are, also, of course, available to, to support you and you can find all the information on our website. Let's get into the master program part for the application. So again, an online application, kind of similar. So we will have a test, a mandatory test, either GMAT or GIE. Again, we don't have a preference. So pick the test in which you think you will perform better. That's very important. Your GPA uh, from your bachelor. And for both these quantitative parts, there is not a minimum required. So um, let's say, of course, the higher, the better. And also uh, pick wisely, uh, let's say, the test, the GMA, the GRE, depending on your possibilities. But there is no minimum. There is no threshold. We will ask you to submit your CV and a motivational letter, a personal statement. We do not require work experience. And we do not require any reference letter. There is a fifth additional element, which is a video presentation. We highly recommend it, but it's not mandatory. As you can see from the boxes here below, we have special requirements for special programs. In case you're interested in those, usually is an additional motivational letter. Uh, usually it's like some specificities for those, for each program you're interested in. We have a website with all the updated information. And also we will share our contact emails so you can get in touch directly with us, with Taya, with me, with the, the whole team. One important information for the master programs is that, as I was mentioning for the bachelor, the bachelor, you can apply to up to four programs. Here, you can apply to up to five programs, again, in order of preference, and you can reapply once. So you can start with your first application, in case the first time you're not admitted, you can reapply. So here you can see the, um, the timeline. Of course, you find it on our website as well. And uh, we have five application rounds for international applicants. The first round is over. So now the next deadline as for the bachelor is the 26th of January. So you still have some time. But other than that, we have other rounds. Uh, until the fifth round, we will assign places. Our suggestion, again, very practical, is if you can try not to, let's say, waste your time, but uh, start preparing your application, start taking the test, because usually the earlier, the better, in terms of places available, first of all, and also in terms of scholarships. So do not uh, wait until the last round if you can. Try to find the balance between applying early, but also applying when you have a good test, a good score uh, that makes you competitive in the application process. In terms of fees and funding, so also very useful information. Um, so you can see on the slide for the bachelor, it's 13,000 euros per year. And for the master is 14,000 euros per year. The good news is that Bocconi luckily offers many, many scholarships and one student out of four receives financial aid. So you can see how much Bocconi has contributed to, to students because of the help provided by, for example, donors. So usually, you know, former alumni, uh, former Bocconi students who decide to give back something, 
uh, when uh, after many years they realize they want you know to give something to the university that help uh, their shape their career. We have several type of of uh, scholarship opportunities. To make it very simple, we have two categories. One category uh, would be scholarship based on the merit of the student, and the best part of this is it's automatic. So you don't need to think about it. You just focus on your application, on your test, uh, and um, all the documents, and we will automatically take you into account for the merit-based scholarships. That can go from a, usually a 50% reduction to up to a full tuition waiver. The second category of scholarship will be based on your economic need. In that case, of course, there will be an application because you will be required to submit some documents. But again, the suggestion is, first of all, focus on the application. Uh, submit your application and get the result. When you have the result, you, have, you get everything together. So you will find out if you've been admitted, hopefully yes, to which program out of the four or five that you've selected. And if you have been assigned with a scholarship and how much is the scholarship, right? So just in the case you're not assigned with a scholarship, you may want to consider the need-based ones. And so you will start the procedure, which in any case will happen later. So you will still have some time to prepare the documents uh, in time. There are possibilities of loans. So we have agreements with Italian banks. So, so the, let's say the, the opportunities are, are there for you. And also our um, funding office is available to, to support you in case you want to double check in advance uh, your situation. Let's get now into the, the fun part because Bocconi is not only studying, uh, there is a lot more than that. Um, there is campus life for sure. We have a dedicated office. This office supports the students, generally speaking, but the truth is like Bocconi students do everything autonomously. So for example, we have, well, first of all, in terms of housing, there are plenty of different opportunities. So there will be seven dorms, in case you want to uh, stay on campus, different type of accommodation. It's always single rooms. There is a dormant service, cleaning service, super safe. Uh, basically, the Bocconi campus, uh, for those of you who don't know Milano, the campus is in the city center, in the heart of the city. So you don't have to worry about anything, really. You can just take a walk. <coughs> Sorry. You can take a walk to the city center in like 15 minutes. You are in the main square with Duomo. Uh, so it's uh, it's really easy to move around. And so if you want to stay in a dorm, the application will be in May, June, more or less. And it's going to be on a first come, first served criteria, meaning that maybe not everyone will get a room. But we usually say this is not a big deal. This is not an issue just because, you know, Milano is a city so ready to welcome students and to ready to welcome international students. There's not only Bocconi, there are other universities. So people are used to this. It's really easy to find an accommodation also via uh, Facebook groups or other, um, let's say, websites. Uh, there are good ones. So we can, of course, recommend you. We have a web page with uh, the, the most recommended ones as well. There is a brand new sports center as well. So we encourage students to, uh, to enjoy sport at Bocconi. We have teams, so we have a giant Oly Olympic swimming pool. So of course, if you happen to be in Milano, let us know and check our campus visits uh, because every other Friday, basically, we organize visits on campus. So we will do usually a short presentation we will uh, introduce you to some of our current students so you can ask like also very practical questions you may have and also the students will take you around campus and show you the sports center show you the canteens um say the different buildings how to get into the library and so on i was mentioning this before i was anticipating that students do a lot of things autonomously because we have more than 100 associations on campus going from like the uh let's say the serious ones related to your study so we have a finance one one in consulting and so on to sports clubs of course uh, then we have a radio a tv a newspaper but also um, associations uh, more to you know make friends cultural associations we have a wine tasting association Usually there is association for everything. And if you don't find your one, you can still create a new one because every year students uh, come up with very interesting ideas. 
And here you can see a few pictures of uh, keynote speakers that we have had in the past, just to give you the idea that there is always something happening uh, in Bocconi, on the Bocconi campus. Um, I'll share my personal experience. Like I remember like, a couple of years ago, uh, it was my first, one of my first weeks on campus working for Bocconi. And I saw all of a sudden like a few models walking by, walking on campus. And I, I was like, what's going on here? This is a university, but it was fashion week. And we, we collaborate with many brands, of course. And there was a runway show on our main uh, building. So it's really interesting. Or there is a, like a huge conference uh, with politicians. There's always something going on. So it's, uh, it's really nice not to only enjoy the lectures, but you know, to be around and see, see what's going on. Okay, so just a few last words. So what's gonna happen next? On the 14th of January, we will have our open day for students interested in the master programs, and it's gonna be online. So if you're interested, just go on our website in the master program section. On our guidance activities, you can register for the, for the event. You will have the chance to, uh, to, to watch presentations of the programs. Uh, held by program directors, not general ones, but like very specific into the study plan. So if you have questions on marketing management or data science, today it was just an overview. Uh, but on that occasion, you will have a chance to really go into the, the details. And uh, we organize also uh, summer schools, both, both online and on campus. So we encourage you to check out the website as well. It's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting and very fun experience. Um, so there will be lectures, there will be group projects, company visits. Uh, so we'll put you on a bus and take you to like a bunch of cities in north of uh, of Italy to let you explore and live what it feels like to be a Bocconi student for a couple of weeks. And we organize master classes and open classes for free. This is a great chance to see if you like the teaching methods of Bocconi. So uh, we highly encourage you to uh, also attend those. You can find our contact emails here. So if you have any question, we, uh, Thea, me, and the whole uh, guidance and recruitment team is always available. And um, I will thank you for, uh, for attending this session today. If you have any question, uh, both Thea and I are available to, to answer those. Thank you very much, Melinda. And arrivederci a Milano. Thank you so much. And hope we have as much Turkish students as possible in Milano as soon as Bocconi. And uh, we have a question actually in the chat, just one for now, but I'm sure we will have more questions in a few minutes. Uh, some student is asking if there is a reference for a minimum score for SAT and ACT on the bachelor, even if there is not a rule, if we can give an idea, maybe. Okay. Um, as you, um, Daniele was saying, uh, there is not um, a minimum score that we can suggest uh, because, uh, um, as Alexia was explaining, that's a combination of your GDP uh, and the score of the test. Uh, we can suggest, based on the last round of application, which was extremely competitive, what could start to be, start to be uh, a competitive score. That doesn't mean that it would be, because it's based on you guys and how you perform on the test. We cannot predict uh, uh, how the competition would be in the future, but a competitive score for the SAT could be from 1,400 above. Then remember that you need to mix it with your GPA. So if you have an extremely high GPA, you are allowed to score lower in the SAT, but of course the higher the better. That's the only suggestion we, we can do. Yeah, thank you so much. Of course, the, better, the higher it is, the better it is. Uh, we have another question. Do students who have completed a part of high school as homeschooling in Turkey have these advantages in their admission to university or uh, benefiting from scholarship opportunities? So in the, um, as far as I could understand, yeah, they studied in online way uh, in maybe in the last year or something oh. like that, just part. Yeah, what they can do is, because every situation is a bit different depending on your background. Of course, we cannot expect everyone to, to have the exact same background coming from you know, so many different countries and schools. 
So what you can do is definitely send an email to our admissions office and we can double check directly with them your specific situation. Okay. Do you have summer school for high school students or is it only for university students? We provide summer school for both uh, high school and university students. And uh, let's say the idea is to give the students the, the opportunity to live a few weeks as Bocconi students. And it's a great way to experience the campus as well, if you want to do it on campus, or if you don't have this chance to do, you can do it online. Uh, but we really encourage you to, to come to Milano. We try to organize not only lectures, but also, as I mentioned, company visits, group projects. The classes are very international. So you will get to interact with students coming, I can tell you from last year or the years before, students coming from all the continents. And, um, we also try to, to create um, the full experiences. So it's not going to be only the academics, but we organize also Italian activities. For example, we last year we organized an Italian cooking class, which the students really enjoyed, or a tour of the city, um, Italian language classes. So there is a few activities that we try to, to organize for you. I go on with the question. Do you, have, do you accept IB? If yes, what's the minimum score? Uh, Okay, yeah, we do accept IB. Um, we accept uh, um, all in the diploma. IB is one of the most uh, um, popular among the diploma we receive. Um, we cannot provide scores concerning the specific diploma. Uh, we only provide score concerning either the Bocconi test or the SAT because we know that schools may be very different. Uh, there are schools that may provide high grades but then uh, students do not perform well in the SAT, while there are schools that are very strict, but then, mm, and then students perform incredibly high in the test. So we cannot suggest a score for the IB. Uh, I can repeat the, um, a competitive score for the SAT start to be from 1,400 above, and for the Bocconi test, 30, 35 out of 50 above. But for the specific diploma, we cannot uh, um, say anything. Okay, I just want to say something because sometimes students, I, they, they ask a question, I know what they're asking. And it, the fact that Bocconi accepts IB doesn't mean you cannot do SAT or Bocconi test. SAT and Bocconi test is mandatory. Okay, yes. so you cannot apply only on the basis of, of IB. IB is considered a diploma. Uh, so instead of Turkish diploma, you can... Uh, use the IB. Maybe if you have a good score in maths, would be good for you during the application process. Let's go on. My question is about the Bocconi test for uh, BA. Can a 11 grade students can apply for the early session uh, during uh, doing the Bocconi test? It is possible, but actually, the you will be uh, you will be already finished you, you the eleven grade because the early session starts generally in July. Is, is this correct? Yes. So eleven grade will be finished. Then in July you are between eleven and twelve grade, and you can take Bocconi test and apply during the early session. That generally finishes in uh, September, but check always the website. I go on. Uh, when you take the book contest, will you know your scores immediately? Uh, it usually takes 24 up to 48 hours. So at the maximum two days to get the results. And that's why we recommend not to do it maybe one day before the deadline. <laughs> so try to schedule it in advance. In advance, so just to make sure also that everything works. Is the merit scholarship uh, cancelled if you choose to apply for ESU scholarship, the, 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 the financial aid? Mm. So usually what we suggest is to, first of all, look at the result, because in the result you will see if you have the, the merit-based scholarship. So if you have a full scholarship, um, you're good because you are covered. In any case, uh, let me post... Post in the um, in the chat the email address of the funding office. So if you want to double check with them directly, you can uh, you can check your specific situation. Because as I was mentioning, for this for quite a few topics, it's better to specifically check your uh, your situation. I will post the, the email. Another question on the scholarship: <laughs> What we have to do to get the scholarship? This is only based on your SAT score. No, so generally speaking, both for bachelor and masters, what happens is 
there will be an internal committee of people who um, will look into your applications with more of an holistic approach, I would say. So all the elements will be taken into account, both the quantitative and the qualitative part. Um, so all the elements would, will be considered. And as I said, when you get the result of the application, you will also find out about the scholarships. So because there is no separate application, the elements you provide with the application are those who will be taken into account. Okay, another question. Um, this student is asking more information about the, the BA in Economics and Management for Arts, Culture and Communication. How does it differ and what are the recruitment opportunities? I mean, uh, I think it's meaning uh, job opportunities. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is more uh, basically the first year, uh, the year of the fundamental uh, is, for instance, the same of Economics and Management. Uh, because in this year we provide what we consider to be, uh, as I was saying, the fundamental for the students to then progress in its uh, own spe specialization. So uh, initially is the same more or less for everyone, um, the basics. Then uh, you can select courses that in this area are more connected to the specific field of arts, culture and communication. That is, if you in the future, want to work in the management department of companies that are more oriented towards arts, culture, and communication as maybe fashion company, luxury company. Um, maybe, for instance, if you want to go um, to work in a bank, you, you're rather not going for economics, uh, for arts and communication, because uh, the, you will still get the basics, but then the focus is not the one you, you are looking for. Uh, instead, if you want to uh, work for a big company, a multinational company, but it has this um, uh, artistical connotation inside the company, that uh, is a good course. Or if you want to work for, um, yeah, the, the main uh, we have in Italy are, and especially in Milan, are fashion company, the main reference uh, for this specific course. Uh, so the jobs opportunity comes from this, uh, mainly from this company or company in the field of entertainment, uh, uh, arts, uh, um, mainly this area. So uh, it's uh, quantitative in the sense that it's still an economic curse. We are still a business university, but it provides you with the tools to even work in a creative industry. So if your focus would be to work in a creative industry, that's the right course for you. If you want to work maybe even in consulting, but for creative companies, if instead you are more focused on finance, banking, um, there are better courses that are more uh, uh, proper. One practical tip, if I can add uh, for all the students, you may want to go on LinkedIn very simply and look for like alumni who recently graduated either from a bachelor of your interest or a master of your interest and see what they're doing. It's very easy. Or another tool could be, uh, we have a platform called Unibody. So if you on Google, you, you write Bocconi Unibody, you have a chance to interact directly with our current students and ask them questions. Um, this is also very, very helpful. The third thing that I wanted to mention is uh, we were talking before about the career services that we have at, uh, at Bocconi. The career service will give you assistance, uh, assistance first of all, with finding your internship. Um, and this is very important. You may have like questions. I guess it, it's not easy sometimes to understand what exactly you're going to be doing after uh, the bachelor or the master. So really take into account that you have a lot of services, a lot of people working for you. So there will be uh, networking cocktails with companies. Uh, there will be mock interviews or career events. Try to attend all of these activities and try to ask questions to clarify what you like, what you don't like, what is a good fit for you. Um, the internship itself is a great chance to see in practice if you like something. So also for um, arts, culture, media, and entertainment, it's important or communication even in bachelor or master. The, the message here is it's not uh, these are not programs to become performer. These are management programs. So you'll study management, apply to those industries. And this applies to basically all of our programs in management. That, that's the, the main message, I would say. Okay, and then they asked me if we can give some idea uh, about the content of the Bocconi test. 
Okay, yes, uh, starting from this year, uh, the Bocconi test is structured to resemble the SAT test. Uh, so uh, basically the contents are uh, the same that you may find in the SAT. So that's why we suggest, uh, we, we provide you with the opportunity, we do not differentiate on the test, but if you are preparing for the SAT, you are ready to sit the Bocconi test. Uh, so the contents are the same on our web, uh, page there are bullet points uh, clearly indicating the different subjects that are going to enter in the test so i suggest to look it properly online um, the only difference with the SAT, uh, to be more specific is that the bocconi test is more of a pressure test so if you don't know a few answers, uh, it's better not to, um, to answer uh, because uh, you will be discounted for wrong, penalized for wrong answers. That's the only difference with the SAT, but content wise uh, is very similar. So there will be mathematics, logics, uh, um, um, comprehension of the language. Mm -hmm. So basically it's exactly the same content wise, uh, but on the website, you can check specifically the different points so you can prepare accordingly. I shared the link uh, of Bocconi test, the, the updated one. <laughs> okay, is there any financial aid provided for summer school? So for the summer school, um, we definitely have some discounts for several categories, for example, for students coming from partner universities or um, for example, if a brother and sister want to both apply, or um, let's say there is a, there is a complete full stru fee structure. Um, so on our website, you can see it's of course uh, a different type of program. So the summer school is not comparable to a bachelor or a master. So also in terms of admission, will not be as strict. There will not be a test. We won't ask for SAT or GMAT test. Is like the the application will basically uh, be based on your motivation mostly um, and also for financial aid there is no like scholarships like for the master and so on but there is a full fee structure with several discounts so depending on which category uh, you can check which discounts you get also like one very important is that if you apply in the first rounds and we will apply we will open applications in late January if you apply in the first round you will have an early bird uh, discount so we def if you're interested we definitely encourage you to apply in the first round in any case. Are classes lecture-based or discussion-based generally? We had a question. Uh, it depends. Uh, of course, there is uh, a part of theory. Uh, we study models, uh, uh, we study economic theory. It depends a lot uh, from course to, co uh, to course. Uh, um, but still, there is um, a base, let's say, that is uh, from the lecture and is poor theory and then most of the courses also have group projects uh, or students are requested to do presentation encouraged to speak in class to interact directly uh, and generate discussion so uh, these two elements are combined uh, in most of the lectures of course there are lectures that are more um, uh, the professor speaking and uh, the students are just listening because once uh, he needs to prepare uh, the theoretical basis to then support uh, a general discussion and work on group projects. But um, work uh, group projects are very are considered to be very important to develop team building and also to recreate the same dynamic that students will face in the job market. Uh, so uh, both of these elements are combined to provide not only the academic, but even preparing the students for uh, the job market. Yes, there are also a lot of study, uh, study cases that are proposed by professors and, and it's really interesting for students. We had, a, uh, I think, the last question that is about rankings because uh, they said, you mentioned business, but not maths and computer science. Mm -hmm. Just so I want to say something, but most probably it's the same you will say. The economics management and computer science program, it's computer science based, but it's actually management. So if you are talking of ranking, you will find Mukuni in business and management ranking. So it's not like computer engineering, but it's management with a lot of data and the probability statistics. So uh, with 
a computer section, but it's not computer science only. That's why you cannot refer to the ranking of computer to find Bocconi. And, uh, and I think it's the same. And so because of how the rankings themselves are structured, um, the two main providers of rankings are Financial Times and QS. You have probably uh, heard them before, and they work differently, for instance. So, so uh, QS will give you rankings based on areas. So we have business and management, economics and econometrics, finance, and so on. And, many others. Financial Times uh, is not on the area, but it's on the program. So for example, our finance program is seventh in the world. Okay, so it's the specific program. We, we didn't go into detail of all the programs or all the um, all the areas, but it's because Bocconi also, uh, as Daniele was mentioning, is a business school. So uh, business and management is our core area. We are specialized in the social, social sciences. Um, but yes, all the program hold uh, a good reputation. <laughs> we can reassure you of that. It's the same for artificial intelligence. There is no ranking just for artificial there intelligence. There is not a specific one also because these are very recent. Uh, so new, yeah. Uh, last question, next SAT is on March. Uh, it's too late for the spring session application. It, it, I think it covers, it, it catches the deadline. The only thing with the SAT is that you need to remember that uh, it's an external provider. So uh, it may take uh, longer than what they initially say to provide the result. And we need uh, uh, the proper documentation to, um, to uh, certify that your SAT is correct. So um, they may say two weeks uh, and then it take one month. Uh, that's why uh, we provide as a second option or as an alternative, the Bocconi test because there the results will be uh, provided in two days only, at most two days. That's why uh, my suggestion will be if you are only have this chance to take the SAT, I would go for the Bocconi test as well since the preparation you need is the same, but at least you're sure you're going to have a chance to have a test ready to be applied, to, to be uploaded, because otherwise you may risk that the results do not come on time and you cannot uh, upload it on the application. But we don't, uh, it's an external provider, so we, we can uh, actually be sure if the result is going to arrive on time or not, but with the Bocconi test, definitely, uh, it, at most in two days. So as long as you do it at least one week in advance, you are sure that you yeah, definitely. So let's take for example this uh, December SAT just came out this week. So it's okay, but sometimes yeah. we experience it some depends uh, exactly yeah, delays, and of course uh, you may miss the deadline. I have also a question. <laughs> uh, in, in Turkey, we, we had maybe, uh, for sure, in some other countries, uh, there were some uh, tries of um, digital SAT done online, of course, in, uh, in some test centers. It is accepted by Bocconi or not? So something so new, so uh, I don't know if it's accepted by Bocconi or not. So as far as I know, uh, at the moment, the, the rules have not changed. So we are accepting the normal, let's say, yeah. version of the SAT. Um, I'm not sure if things are going to change soon uh, because the Bocconi test was also moved online. So we are accepting that, but because we have all the mechanisms in place to make sure that students do not... Uh, uh, Cheat during the test. For the SAT, uh, we have not changed rules yet, but in mm -hmm. the future, who knows? Okay, then we have uh, two questions on the language requirements. One is for BA, uh, so for all the bachelor, mm -hmm. and um, the other is on the summer school because on, in the summer school pages, they find that uh, that this also can be. Uh, mm -hmm shown as a certificate uh, stating that your previous so I'll, I'll get the one for the summer school um, so first of all the, the requirement in terms of language for summer school for high school students and um, university students is a bit different for the high school students um, we will ask you to let's say prove your English level um, with a certificate or 
if you're studying in English, if you're a native speaker, um, the, the in terms of tests, so like the, the usual ones, so uh, IELTS, TOEFL are good. Um, but if you have another test, you can send us an email and, uh, and we can check because we will not be as, as strict as we would be with like with the with the bachelor program uh, for the master students uh, again for the summer school we will not require a test the idea is that um, if you can prove you can successfully attend a summer program in english for us it's fine um, and we are happy to have you on board for the program i will share with you the email addresses of the summer school in the chat as well for uh, the bachelor, instead, uh, the requirement is a B2 level. Uh, we, uh, as Alessia was mentioning before, we do not ask uh, for the certificate at the time of the application. But once the application closes, we usually have one month and a half uh, to deliver the results. And if he, the students get uh, admitted, he will need to uh, confirm his spot and uh, provide the certificate within two weeks. Uh, usually two to three weeks. So the suggestion is to try to do the English certification as soon as possible, even though it's not required in the application, but if the student is admitted, it will be required in a very short time frame. So the student needs to have it available to confirm its spot. Yeah, and yeah. all the main uh, certification, IELTS, TOEFL, uh, even uh, uh, Duolingo, I guess now are accepted, but you can oh, um, you can see everything in the website. What do you recommend to mention in the CV or motivational letter? So um, hard to say, um, but yeah. So it's very general question. Um, well, the first rule is always try to not uh, repeat the same information in these two documents because the same people from the admissions office will get both. So try to be strategic and try to, uh, again, do, do not repeat the same information. For the resume, for the CV, I would say try to not go like over the one page. Uh, so one page is enough and you can summarize all your experiences. Uh, for the motivational letter, um, try to be brief, about one, two pages uh, is, uh, is okay. What to mention? So in the CV, mention everything you have done. So uh, not only the academics, but also volunteering activities, um, projects. If you've done like, a, if you've worked on a specific project, if you feel like, uh, you know, I really liked it. And um, this project made me realize how much I like I don't know, marketing and that's why I'm applying for the marketing management program or uh, this program gave me the opportunity to uh, find out about finance and that's why I wanna study finance. Mention the, the special project that you have worked on. Um, the languages you speak, your, um, your interests, anything really that could be um, interesting for us to understand who you are as a person. Um, also besides your academics that we already know by receiving your test, uh, your GPA and so on. For the motivation letter, I would say, well, it's very, um, it's very personal. Everyone has a different style uh, in approaching a motivational letter. Try to be authentic. Try to make the letter as specific as possible to Bocconi. Um, try to let the admissions office understand you are writing to Bocconi and not writing to a random university in Europe. Try to explain why you're applying to Italy and not to another country. Try to explain why Bocconi specifically and why this, the programs you're applying for. And if you're applying for more than one program, mention all of them. Try to at least have a little paragraph for all the programs you're applying for. Take into account that the um, program directors will read the motivation letters. So um, do not focus only on your first choice uh, because the, the best case scenario is you're admitted to your first choice. But in the case you are not eligible for your first choice, you will be considered for the other programs as well. And so it's important for the program director to read something about their program. Um, besides that, try to tell us your story, tell us who you are and why you want to uh, be admitted to, to Bocconi. Yeah, don't be don't be so long. We I saw even 10 pages is too much, definitely. <laughs> That's more, more than enough. <laughs> one, is, one is more than enough. And yes. try maybe to not repeat too much the CV because sometimes it's like a 
but try to say why Bocconi, why Italy, but not saying, okay, because Milano is so nice and uh, mm -hmm. I've been there and uh, the food is so good. Mm -hmm. I mean, you must have read it tons of time. And uh, we have another question. SAT can be uh, used in the summer school application to be exempted for the English part. So it's an English proficiency. Um, so SAT itself is not going to be required. So a test is not required. Um, the only test you'll be asked to submit is one for your language skills. So I wouldn't uh, compare SAT with other tests. Yeah, but by the way, the, the students is saying IELTS results are announced too late for the summer school application, but it's it's not because if you do IELTS computer based that you can find everywhere in Turkey, so you go to the test center and you do it from the computer at maximum, it takes five days, maximum, the paper based IELTS take, it takes uh, 15 days, actually the, 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 the longest to be announced is SAT. Uh, it's it's a uh, so SAT takes much more to be announced and IELTS is, uh, you can take IELTS and have the result in few days three to five days for and the if you for, have another test uh, if you have Duolingo or any other test that you took PT, for example the Pearson that it's also really quick uh, but please try send them uh, send the, um, the certificate to our email address and maybe that's that's enough and you don't need to take the IELTS. So let's yeah, check first and we can support you. But IELTS is done really often every week in Turkey. So it's easy to, to find it in Istanbul and computer-based, it will take just three to five days. Maybe you can check British Council website that it's really easy if you are right. IELTS registration on Google, it's the first uh, research option and uh, it's really quick. And any application, other will, application in any case will open late January. So uh, and the first round, but then we will probably have a second round. So you you definitely have the time to, to collect all the documents. Okay, but can we say that they have to catch the first round for summer school? It's, we recommend that, yes. If this wanna, year was really tough and the exactly. second round was quite late. So the first come, first serve, we yeah. can see also. Is there only one online simulation for Bocconi test? Yes, uh, uh, there is only one online simulation, uh, the one you find uh, on our website. Uh, there was one special one for uh, the open day uh, and past uh, week on the 3rd of December, uh, but we do not uh, provide any further um, documentation. So anything that you may find online <coughs> uh, stating that is provided from Bocconi is not. So refer only to the one only one copy that um, of the mock test that you find on our website that's the only reliable one and uh, uh, as i was saying before please check the bullet points and uh, study specifically according to these bullet points but uh, uh, there are no other official simulation available we, we can suggest a bit, as you said before, some SAT material can be helpful. Let's yeah, say. SAT materials can be helpful to prepare for the Bocconi test as well. Okay, any other question? Okay, uh, I think we are done. <laughs> so thank you so much. It was really helpful. A lot of questions, but uh, I think everyone got the, the, it, their answer. So it was great. Thank you so much. If, for every any students that would like to have much more information, you can go on Unibocconi website and uh, you can find the chat where you can uh, ask whatever you want, like live. And uh, Unibadi, right? To, yes. to, to, to yes. write to the tutor to the students. So to share, they are sharing their experience in Bocconi, it would be great. So thank you so much and uh, have a nice Christmas, have a nice year. Uh, happy New Year since now and uh, hope to have all these students in Milano really soon. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. 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 Buon Natale. Buon anno. Ciao. 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 